Hey everyone, this is Justin from Level Up Lunch. In episode one, we showed how to filter collections with Guava, and today we'll be introducing the concept of filtering with Java 8. Java 8 was released in March of 2014, and this is kind of to give you a quick start on uh, some of the enhancements that were made in the API. So uh, a couple definitions and, and things that you need to understand before we get going here is that a predicate is uh, the first thing we're going to talk about. And a predicate is really just a function that takes in a value and returns true or false. So you might pass a object to this predicate and the predicate will say, does it meet this condition or not? And it will return true or false. We'll actually show a couple different ways to create a predicate and then see how in our example, uh, how we'll actually use that in uh, while, while we're filtering. The second thing is a stream and a stream you know, if we read the definition, it is uh, a stream is a sequence of data items that are produced one at a time. And really, what a stream was appended to uh, collections and very other, various other things, it was it's really to enhance some of the functional idioms that we we're looking to have in Java. It isn't meant to replace collections at all. It's just it really just makes it easier to interact with them. So in the spirit of March Madness, we created a uh, basketball team object. And then we also have a region enum that represents various regions. If, if you're familiar with the bracket, uh, we'll include one in the show notes just so you can get an idea of what it is. But it's a competition where uh, various basketball teams will play, and it's, it's a big thing uh, in the States. So we created this object. It has a few different values right, or attributes point scored, team name, and region. Uh, and we overridden the two strings, so when we actually uh, print these out, you have an idea of what, what's there. We also created a list of basketball teams that will hold all the teams that we have set up within our setup method. So uh, we initialize this list with various teams that uh, are playing in the bracket, and we have uh, uh, a few different basketball games. One is Wisconsin, we have San Diego, uh, Iowa State, Florida, and then we actually have a null, and we'll, we'll show how we can uh, use a predicate to get around this null. And this could be any data that you're getting back from uh, various databases, maybe it may be a REST-based service that you're pulling back records, and, and there might be a bad record in there or a name not filled out. Uh, maybe the validation didn't occur up front, and you kind of get this bad data. So you might need to uh, filter out nulls, uh, which we'll look at in a moment. So if we're looking at how to create a predicate, there's kind of two different ways. You can explicitly create a predicate, and that's what we did here is we created a predicate, and we uh, and just to let you know, it's coming from java.util.function.predicate, and uh, we're going to name this the West Region. So we're going to pass in a basketball team, and then the basketball team will uh, perform an operation. This operation is we want to filter or we want a predicate that will say, um, do you belong to the West region? And that's what we'll check for here. So we'll say region equals region.west. And then uh, in a moment, you'll see how we say, well, let's pass the West region to only pull any games that occurred in the West region. All right. The other way you can create a predicate is through a Lambda expression. We won't go into great deal detail about a Lambda expression right at the moment. But just know we'll explicitly, uh, you know, add a type here saying basketball team, and that will that's represented with p, and then p dot region equals region dot east, uh, and this is kind of a slimmer trim way to define what a predicate is. So diving into the filter by region, let's take a look at how we can actually take this collection or this array list and then apply a, a filter mechanism to it to trim down that list based on some of the criteria we're looking for. So first we'll say teams.stream. So we're going to call the stream, uh, stream method here. And then we'll actually call the filter. And like I was explaining, uh, you have to pass in a predicate to the filter. So let's go ahead and pass in west region. And then just to add to that too, we'll uh, do a for each, which is a new method that is on a stream that will allow us just to uh, perform a system.out. So we'll be say p, so that's our object p, which represents 
basketball team, and then we'll do system dot out dot print line, and then we'll say just print out p. Okay. So now, uh, if we look at our list, we will f iterate over every single item, and we'll ask it, do you belong to the west region? If it does, then it will return that element. So let's go ahead and run our example. And we should see only uh, teams that belong in the West region, which we did. So these are games. So we have a West. Uh, Wisconsin played one game. Looks like they played two. And then they also have uh, San Diego in the West region. Next, let's lo look at how we can filter by score. You might have a, a, a score program that's trying to say who got the best score, the highest score, the highest rating. Um, and you might have some rating with it, too, to say, well, if you have this score, then you might have a rating. So we're actually going to copy this uh, same uh, expression up here. So we'll have the teams.stream.filter. And instead of passing in one of the filters we already uh, stated, we're actually going to create the filter or the, the predicate uh, from a Lambda expression. So we can say P uh, dash uh, and then P dot point scored because the compiler knows it is a basketball team. And then we'll say where it's greater than or equal to 60. So we want all of the teams that scored more than 60. And then again we'll do the for each and we'll say P dash uh, less than and then we'll do system.out.println. Uh, print line here. And then we'll print out P. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you have it. You have all of the teams or all of the games where teams have scored points greater than 60. So that kind of gives us that example where we're filtering actually on the object using a lambda expression. So for our next example, we're going to filter by team and then also convert it to a collection. And before we do that, let's go ahead and add one teams.add and we will just add a null. Okay, so that'll get us started here. That'll get us for our seed data. And then we want to go ahead and do uh, teams.stream and then we'll do teams.stream.filter and we want to filter a team by a collection so we could say p uh, dash and then we'll say p.team uh, and let's just say equals Wisconsin Okay, and then let's just do a for each again, and we'll just copy this for, copy and paste this, and let's go ahead and run this. So we should get all of the, oh, so now we have a null pointer expression. And so there's two different places where we're getting that null pointer expression. And one of those is uh, with the null team, and then we also have a, team with a name that equals null. So let's go ahead and look at how we can combine multiple predicates to actually uh, trim, trim down those results and, and uh, get us away from that null pointer. So uh, the first thing we want to do is create a predicate and we'll want the BB team here and let's call this the non-null predicate. And in Java 7, I believe, objects uh, became and has a non-null. Okay, let's do organize import, save. And let's try that again. There we go. Non-null. And then we'll create a second predicate where we'll have a predicate of BB team. And then we'll say name not null. So we want to filter any names or objects that are null. So we'll do p and then we'll do p dot team name. Oops. Team name uh, and then not equal null. Okay. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and create a third one where we'll say predicate. 
and we'll say BB team again. And then we'll say team Wisconsin. And we'll add a predicate to it as well. And then we'll just copy our expression from inside below. And then we'll have those three predicates. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I combine three predicates into one? Luckily, we, will, we can do uh, something very simple on the predicate. So we'll first take the non-null, because that's the first thing we want to do, right? We want to filter out any null objects. And then we'll do and. So we can add uh, and or or. In this instance, we'll use and. And we want to say name not null, because we're going to check the expression for name. And then we'll say and, and, and again, where we'll say we'll want team Wisconsin predicate. So we'll want teams um, uh, that equal Wisconsin. And we can take that uh, and we can assign it to a predicate. So we could say predicate and we'll say BB team full predicate or something like that. And there we go. All right, now we can pass that full predicate into the filter. And let's go ahead and run this. And we should see all the teams uh, that equal Wisconsin with no no pointers. So we should see green here. And we do. So what it did is it filtered out, again, what it did is it filtered out all of the null objects. And then it also filtered out any team's name that was null as well. Um, so this is very functional in, in practice, but the next thing you probably want to do is take that and convert it back to a list. So I am going to just make a couple adjustments here. So instead of for each, we're going to call the collect. And this is just kind of getting you introduced to this. Collect. And all a collector does is it says, all right, take all these elements in a stream and then give me an object of the type that I'm, I'm specifying. So we're going to say collectors collectors whoops let's try that again collectors dot to list and that will convert it to a list for us so now we should be able to say list bb team bb team equal or let's just say teams to equals and then we can just say system dot out print line teams two and that should give us again the same results let's go ahead and run that okay there you have it so we sh also showed how to convert from a stream to a list and there's there's a lot of default collectors um, that you can do so you can do dot two um, list a map a set so there's a lot of those defaults and you're also able to specify uh, your own if you'd like Thanks for joining us at Level Up Lunch, and I hope this provided a little intro uh, to Java 8 as well as showing you how to filter a stream uh, and or a collection. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.